We're testing the Spear Gold Dot in 45 ACP plus P, 200 grain jacketed hollow point. This is the middle weight. Spear also offers a 185 and then the 230 grain gold dots. Those opening shots just a moment ago, which were very comfortable and a little accurate. Colt 1911 Series 80 government model. That's a 5 inch barrel. Now there you see the advertised muzzle velocity from Spear of 1,080 feet per second and the foot-pounds muzzle energy. And then you see my five shots have us chronographed from 10 feet with this 5 inch barrel. And as you're probably aware, those are going to be higher than the short barrel 45s that a lot of people are carrying. Okay, and then there's your average. 1,064 feet per second, just a little bit below the advertised. Now, a couple of reasons why the 200 grain might be attractive to folks is that muzzle velocity, which is on average about 180 to 190 feet per second faster than the 230 grain, and then also that energy. I mean, you're getting over 500 foot-pounds of energy if you're getting at that advertised, and again, that's going to drop off with a shorter barrel, and you might be hoping for a little bit more expansion than you would get out of that 230 grain. And also this is a bonded bullet. A lot of you are aware of that with regard to spear and the gold dots. So the only barrier we're going to have today is a block of the SimTest Media that's calibrated to match ballistic gel specs. Four layers of denim per the IWBA standard will be shooting from 10 feet. That gave the block a nice little thump, no pass through. Let's go looking for it. We'll start off with a quick view of the right side of the track. I flipped these around. This is the permanent cavity. Good view of that. This runs for about three or four inches on this side and anywhere from half an inch to three quarters of an inch deep. Notice we had some denim that was carried in by that hollow point cavity, but thank goodness that was kicked off to the side and didn't cause any more problems through here with uh, expansion, at least from this perspective. Let's go down to the left side, which is the complete path. Coming in here, expansion starts uh, about an inch in. This cavity at its widest point is one and a quarter inches. It runs out to about the six inch mark, and you can clearly see we had a lot of energy just dumped right here in this first two to three, maybe four inches because of that higher velocity 45 bullet. Moving on through, we can see where we're getting some cutting. This is about half inch deep over on this side. Moving on out past the 10 inch mark. And what were you expecting there? We're coming in just under 13 inches. That leading edge, and I'm measuring at this point here, is 12.75 inches. 12 and 3 quarters. Definitely had some expansion. Let's get that out and take a quick look at it before we get our measurements. I'm getting some holy crap moments lately with my 45 testing as I take these things out of the channel and get that first glimpse at it. That's about three quarters of an inch across. We'll get the approximate measurement in just a second, flipping that over and you can see that it expanded very, very nicely. There's the entry point. And here's a cross section at the two and a half inch mark going in. Diameter of that is anywhere from an inch to inch and an eighth, 1.125. There's one of the marks, and the average is not far from that, 0.787 inches. Retained weight is 199.6 grains. I went back and looked at the results of the 230 grain gold dot test that I posted in 2011. Same format, same firearm, block of gel that was calibrated in four layers of denim. Comparing the two, this 200 grain actually penetrated just a little bit more, but not much. And I think that could be attributed to a large degree by the composition of the block I used today. The calibration was really toward the high end. With regard to expansion, this one, the 200, did expand a little bit more than the 230 grain. I'm not surprised by that. My personal preference, if I carried 45, would be a 230 grain load. But 
That's my personal preference. If you're carrying a shorter barrel 45, then you might want that additional velocity to try to get a better guarantee of expansion. Thanks for watching.